Hey, what's going on guys? It's your coffee, Duke the Gamer Doctor Jizz here, and I have not brought you a video in over a week, and I apologize for that, but something amazing happened last night. Not really amazing, kind of silly. Um, that was obviously election 2012 for presidential, you know, the nominees, the Senate, the House, the propositions between different states, all that cool jazz. I just want to talk about it for a minute, you know, because I figure everyone's going to make be making these videos today. Why not I give my two cents since I haven't been here in over a week and I apologize for that. I will talk about that in a commentary later today, so stay tuned for that. It's full of awesome information, so yeah, let's get on with it. So the election, I don't really care that much because I don't care for either candidate. I didn't vote and I didn't pick a side because I don't care for either one. You know, I'm not, I'm a libertarian, so, you know, I have different ideals than both of those two main parties right there. Um... I have some liberal ideas, I have some conservative ideas, okay? I don't believe, I don't stay on one party guy like, because I'm not like that. I can think for myself, you know? Um, so last night, I really thought Romney was going to put up more of a fight. And he kind of did at first, but then Obama powerhouse through it. And I just have an annoyance because the, the, the biggest swing states were the first to close in the election. They closed at, I think, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And that was like Virginia, North Carolina, uh, New Hampshire, and Florida. And then the next one at like 6.30 or 7.30 was also Ohio and numerous other ones like that. Those were the big ones they kept talking about. Those were the swing states that were going to give Romney the lead. And I really thought Romney was going to win either, for a while I thought Florida, but then as the night went on, it showed Obama was probably going to win Florida. And then I thought it was going to be Ohio, but then obviously, no, those came right down the wire. And I thought he was going to win Virginia. Virginia, he was leading that the whole night. And I went away for a minute because, you know, they already declared Obama the winner. I come back and Obama has won Virginia. So that, that blew my mind as to how many of those swing states he actually won. So I thought that was surprising. Granted, it wasn't a huge victory, but it was, I thought it was going to be even closer when it came to the electoral votes. And I'm a little, I don't get why... Ohio was the biggest talking point of all the swing states in the thing. Like, if he doesn't win Ohio, in referring to Romney, he's not going to win. I don't understand that because, you know, I was sitting with a friend of mine while watching this. You know, Florida is also a swing state. It is even closer to the wire. On it, It's probably going to be um, recounted because it's so close. It's still not declared as I'm recording this right now. And it is like 1.30 you know, central time right now. It's still not declared because it's that close to the wire. So why is the state that is that close to the wire and worth 30, well, 29, 30 electoral votes not as important or talk, uh, a talking discussion point over Ohio, which has 18, and yes, it was close, but for a while it really wasn't towards the end when, you know, the Democrat early voting was starting to get overridden by the Republican um, uh, voting day votes. So I don't understand that. That really made me annoyed. I was really interested in where Florida was going because that was so fucking close to the wire. And it's probably going to be recounted. Even though it doesn't really matter, um, it'll probably still be recounted just for the record because I'm sure Romney wants those 30 votes. But I, I think Obama's going to win that one too. Last time I checked, he was still leading it by only like 10,000 or 1,000 votes. It wasn't by a lot. And a little pet peeve I noticed, I didn't notice this in previous watchings of elections, but I noticed it this time, when they don't count all the votes right away, what they do is they look at how many, what votes have come in already, then they look at the surrounding counties and what, and how, uh, the counties that haven't voted yet, they look at them and say, oh, well, this county's demographic, or democratic, this county's democratic, he's going to get a lot of democratic votes, and those outweigh the few Republican counties that are left, so we're just going to declare the state a winner. I thought that was stupid because, you know, that's kind of like your vote doesn't matter, period. Which, you know, I kind of believe your vote doesn't matter depending on what state you're in to begin with, but that just seems so silly. It's like we've got, you know, for things like California, obviously that's going to Democrat. You know, it, it does every year, just like Texas always goes Republican. Those are things, you know, oh, less than 1% of the voting came in. Yeah, well, if you stay for the whole 100%, you're going to see it's all Democrat votes. It's going to be like 80% Obama, 20% Romney, something like that. So I can see those. But calling the early, you know, we're going to declare this state goes to this individual, for things like Ohio, I felt they did it wrong on Ohio. Um, because Ohio, 
Um, obviously, it was Obama. He was at like 56%, and Romney was at like 40-something. And as the night went on, you know, what I said earlier, the Democrats got early voting, so that's why they had that huge lead. But then, you know, Republicans are more known to be day voters. They vote on Election Day. So those started coming in and started bringing down the percents to the point where they were at 49-49 with a differentiate, differentiating uh, voting of like 900 votes, and they had already declared that Ohio goes to Obama. Now, you know, they justified it by saying, like, well, we still have all these Democrat, uh, Democratic, uh, what is it, counties that haven't sent their votes in, and those outweigh the Republican ones that haven't sent their votes in, so we believe it's going to go to Obama. Now, that may be true, but I still think you shouldn't do that when it's that close to the wire. I mean, just run the clock out all the way so there's no, you know, nothing wrong here. And like, when they declared Ohio, that's what pushed Obama over the edge to winning the re-election. If, you know, if that went through and they found out later Romney won Ohio, there would have been a shitstorm. But then later Obama went on to win Colorado, I believe, which pushed him over the edge regardless. So he would have won the, the re-election nominee either way. He would have won no matter what. But that's besides the point. I don't like that they call that, bull, that, they call that shit so early in advance. You don't know. I mean, look at Florida. Florida's still undeclared. We don't know. You can't just call that state, even if it is at, like, literally 96% of the votes counted. So, I just thought that was weird. I didn't recognize it in previous years, and now I didn't. I thought that was not cool, for one thing. That, that literally j means, like, your vote doesn't matter. It's like, oh, you're a Democrat and a Democrat uh, counting inside of this state? Well, guess right. You don't need a vote. We're just going to say you get those votes and this person wins, you know? It's, it's really hogwash, and that's why I don't like the Electoral College system, because it's bullshit. Because if it came down to something like popular vote, Romney might have won. The popular vote was literally split down the middle. Romney was leading like the whole night until the end where Obama started picking up by 40,000 votes. That's not a lot. That's 49 to 49. That's, that t that's telling right there. The country's divided in half. That's not a good sign to have the popular vote literally split down the middle. That is not moino whatsoever. So that's my little mini rant on the election thing. I mean, kudos to Obama and whatnot. I didn't care who won. Uh, didn't really, you know... Doesn't matter. Maybe now that Obama doesn't have the opportunity for re-election in the next four years, maybe he'll do something. Maybe he'll start doing some drastic shit. I mean, he has the Senate and himself. Obviously, he doesn't have the House, so the Republicans are gonna stonewall him there. But you know, we'll see. What we'll see what happens. So that's a little interesting. Um, another thing to touch on: Colorado has legalized marijuana for recreational use. So there's that. I thought that was kind of interesting on two things. One, they beat California, which was the first to you know, legalize it for medicinal purposes, but I think it's also interesting that, you know, it happened, period, and people in Colorado are flipping shit and being happy. Well, that amendment, or proposition is not going to go into place for months, maybe even a whole year, okay, because that is, sure, yeah, as a state, you legalized it, great, but it's still illegal on a federal level, and, you know, that's going to be f some fighting in court when it comes to your proposition going against the federal law, you know, so there's going to be I don't know if it'll go through all the way, even if it was voted in. I think I don't think the state will, you know, vote against it and redo it like California did with the gay um, marriage proposition. But they, it's still illegal on a federal level, so you see why it comes into some sticky area. You know, you can't legalize something on a state level, and you know, you're exempt. You're still bound by the federal law. So that's kind of funny. Um, so don't get, if you're in Colorado, don't, don't get super happy and be like walking out, I'm going to start smoking a J and stuff like that. No, because that's probably not going to happen for months to a year. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I'm all for it. I mean, legalize it in every state. Legalize it on a federal level, or at least decriminalize it, you know? Let people smoke, just don't throw them in fucking jail, you know? That's just wasting money on the states and the government. That's fucking, honestly, retarded. So yeah, kudos Colorado for doing that. Um... Big props to you. What up? I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm happy for the state, but like I said, where it goes from this point forward, I don't see it really going through. Because like, if you're smoking a joint outside, like you would be a cigarette, you could if a federal agent or someone comes by, they can still throw your ass in jail because that is a federal crime. You know, sure the the cop, the local cops aren't gonna fuck with you. Because it's legal, but federally, you're still fucked in the A. So, I mean, it's good to see a little progression forward towards decriminalization, legalization, all those kind of things. I'm all for that. But, you know, people jumping for joy, getting super excited, just slow your roll your head, okay? Because it's not going to be what you think it is, trust me, okay? 
So that's it, guys. Stay tuned for my video later today explaining where the fuck I've been lately. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my Halo 4 gameplay over this. Uh, have a lot of fun in Halo 4. Super duper fun. Um, congratulations, Obama. Congratulations, Colorado. Congratulations, the American people. God bless you and God bless America. Peace.